It may not be approved by the FDA, but that hasn't stopped people in the USA taking the controversial drug to try and treat their COVID infections. So what is ivermectin and why are celebrities like Joe Rogan taking it? Ivermectin belongs to a class of drugs known as anthelmintics, and its main function is to paralyse and kill parasites. It's used in animals like horses and dogs to treat or prevent parasitic worm infections. In humans, ivermectin tablets are approved for use to treat two conditions caused by parasitic worms. And a cream is approved for external use to treat things like head lice, the skin condition rosacea and scabies. But the doses prescribed for humans are nothing like those designed for animals like horses, which often weigh a lot more. Animal formulations tend to be highly concentrated doses, which can be very toxic to us humans. What's more, many additional ingredients in animal drugs are never tested for use in people. As a result, the animal versions can be very dangerous for humans. Even human doses can interact with other medications like blood thinners, and you can overdose causing some pretty nasty side effects. So what's the link with COVID? First up, ivermectin is not authorised or approved to treat or prevent coronavirus. However, the drug has become controversial after being promoted for use across Latin America and in South Africa. And despite safety warnings from the CDC and FDA, ivermectin is still being taken by prominent politicians and celebrities in the US. Most famous is the case of podcast host Joe Rogan. The 54-year-old recently told his Instagram followers that ivermectin was one of a number of drugs he used to try and treat a recent COVID infection. He claims a doctor prescribed him the human form of the drug, despite official warnings. Endorsements like this have fueled a surge in demand for the drug in the States. The New York Times reported that in August 2021, prescriptions reached more than 88,000 a week up from an average of 3,600 a week before the pandemic. So why do people think the drug could treat COVID? In 2020, a peer-reviewed study in Australia found that the drug could kill coronavirus in a lab. The findings prompted some commentators to tout the medication as a possible treatment for COVID. However, this study only showed that ivermectin could kill the virus in a lab setting. There is currently no clinical evidence it can kill the virus in the human body. However, that's not to say scientists aren't interested in looking at the drug as a potential treatment in the future. In fact, it's part of an ongoing trial at Oxford University, which is looking at the effectiveness of a range of medications to treat COVID in people outside of hospital. Volunteers taking part in the principal trial who are displaying symptoms are being given a three-day course of ivermectin. They're then followed up for 28 days and the results are being compared with those people who receive standard treatments. A small pilot study has suggested early use of the drug could reduce viral load and how long symptoms last, but the study is ongoing. So until the results of this and other similar trials come back, don't expect to be receiving a prescription from your doctor for ivermectin anytime soon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe below.